If you are somebody who have had your ideas stolen, then you are so in the right place because you're going to learn how to prevent it from happening again and how to react when it does. So before we get started, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that every time we drop a video on hot career topics, you get a notification. So let's start with a humbling truth. Your idea is not genius alone. <laughs> Far before it's stolen, any idea that's brought to the table is merely a seed. And sometimes people forget who mentioned a particular seed. It's often an unintended oversight, but sometimes it's not. I'm Dr. Suzanne Doyle Morris, founder of Inclusic, and I've coached many women through this very problem. Stay till the end of the video to get a special technique to prevent an idea being stolen in the first place. But let's start at the basics. If this routinely happens to you, well, the first thing to do is not to suffer in silence. If you let this happen and don't say anything, well, you over time will just become a worked up ball of resentment and rage, rage a snap, which, take it from me, is never a good look. <laughs> Instead, thank the person in the meeting by saying something like, John, I really like the way you built on my idea from what I said a few minutes earlier, and I'd love to work with you on it. <laughs> That reminds people that you are collaborative, but that is largely your seed of an idea to start. It also sends a message to John that you are someone who recognizes what he's done and that you are so watching him. <laughs> Remember, when this happens, you are often not alone, as this is literally one of the most common questions I get asked all the time. So the second thing to do, besides mentioning it when it does happen, is to become better at crediting other people when you see their ideas get appropriated, whether on purpose or not. It's actually a very common thing to happen to most people. And in particular, research shows it's most common when it comes to women of color, that their ideas get credited to other people in the office. But there are a couple ways to respond when you see it happening to others that actually can benefit you as well. A good way to support someone is to say, I really like the way John's taken Janelle's idea from our last meeting and worked with it. Have you two been working on it together since we were last together? <laughs> well, that does two things. First, it shows Janelle that you've noticed what just happened and that you've got her back, which is great for Janelle's morale because at times, she probably feels just like you do, overlooked. That also might make Janelle more of an ally of yours in the future. And who doesn't want more of those? <laughs> Secondly, it sends a shot across the bows to the Johns of the world. It shows that his perhaps sneaky move was seen by other people. So he should be careful about claiming ideas as his own. So, if you've been watching this far, then this has probably happened to you. So in the comments below, I'd love to hear how you handled it when someone did take your idea. And today we're gonna finish with my last secret stealth tip, my lemon scented technique that is used to prevent an idea being stolen in the first place. So if you worry about that happening, get support from a key ally before you go into the meeting and share it with them so that you can help make sure that they know at least where the idea came from. If you've got an idea but worry about bringing it up publicly because you're fearful that someone else is gonna take it and run with it, well, then get buy-in from someone who's going to be at that meeting but is someone you trust. And then at the meeting, you've got one of two options. You can ask your colleague to mention it by saying something like, well, you know, Wendy and I were talking about this a few days ago and she brought up a really interesting point that we wanted to discuss with everyone. Or secondly, your other option is you can raise it at your, yourself at the meeting by saying something like, well, I was talking with Mark about this the other day and he helped me see a few new angles on an idea I had and we thought that'd be great to discuss with the larger group. That way, 
it's confirmed to everyone around that it started with you, but it also shows your willingness to collaborate and hear other people's priorities around this very topic. And your ally, good old Mark, well, he gets some of the credit too for shaping your thinking. So everyone's a winner. <laughs> if you're feeling empowered and ready for your next career challenge, then you'll need to get my free download, How to Get a Promotion in Eight Steps. It is jam-packed, full of tips that are gonna help you secure that top job that you are aiming for. If this has helped you stand up to that office bully, please like this video and share it with the rest of your honest colleagues, you know, the ones who don't steal ideas. <laughs> and if you've ever stood up to an office idea stealer, and let's face it, really every office has one, please tell us in the comments below how that went. I truly hope that this was useful because remember, no one ever cares about your career as much as you do.